Well, hi there. Here's Brad from DYC. Here's Todd Smith's heavy duty, done in various hyper shifts with holographic pearl over them and spots. Here's Eric Bernstein's Mustang. Here's my car right here. The sun is not cooperating with me right now, but I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with what I've put into this car. There's Zaddy Ross, buddy Zach. He couldn't take the heat. He's not from Florida. Here's Danny Rodriguez's wagon. Looks like he's got some sort of effect coat over this green. I don't know if I can pick it up. Got a little bit of a blue pearl, kind of like what my car and my Fusion has. Definitely a, a unique color. I don't know if you guys can pick this up or you're gonna be able to see it, but this Polaris Pro Line done by John Jackson out of North Carolina. Definitely very nicely done. And when Fonzie says it feels like vinyl, it literally feels like vinyl. Here's uh, Scott Hassel's Mustang. That was done by Jason Brozak. Scott Hassel, if anyone's not familiar, is the CEO of Plasti Dip, so he definitely has uh, made this definitely possible coming up with a product that has allowed people to do what they're doing with this stuff. Sorry about that. It's another one done by Jason Brozak, 350Z. The uh, daughter of Scott is the owner of this car. As you can see, he did the breaking a part of the colors similar to what I did on my car and uh, there was a little bit of inspiration from this one involved here's uh, Chris Potter's charger I call it Jekyll and Hyde one side okay looks like a green charger cool but then you just happen to get to the other side All of a sudden, this one's a, one of my more favorite cars here. This also done by Jason Brozak, a little uh, Honda 600 or something like that, done in the uh, very, very realistic patina, rusted outlook. And if you didn't know any better, you would actually think this thing sat out in the desert, just rotting away. A nice little Hibusa set up in there. Old school Aston Mini. Nice view, you don't see very many of these guys in here. Three Z done in a really nice crisp blue. I don't know the color specifically, so I don't know at the moment. 
This is a G37 that was done in Autoflex Wildfire. Came out pretty nice looking. I believe they knocked this thing out in just a few days and uh, put it back together and got it on the road, ready for the show. Camaro done, it looks like a uh, carbon red and uh, black Betty possibly, or a nebula, or maybe even a custom red. Eric Bernstein's wife's car, the PB&J Pearl. Definitely looks badass in person. And then the fade job done here on the uh, FRS. Let's try to get a little bit better angle here. Let's go check out a little bit more of the other cars that have shown up here. This right here was the showcase of uh, the different levels and different lines of products available. They got a little racing simulator game here. I'm playing a little cornhole for uh, free samples of the dip your car dip coat scented uh, car smells, which actually by the way does smell beautiful in the car. I'm gonna walk through here. Yeah, Eric had to get the. Say hi, you guys are live on DYC's uh, page. Yeah. The what? No, but yeah, he wants me to show you guys the hat. You guys can see that. There's some uh, nicely done cars here, lowered. Nice wheels, paint jobs. This one looks like it's a some sort of product. I don't know if it's Autoflex or if it's maybe one of the other products. Black Tacoma here. Looks like it's got a holographic pearl. You guys can see it's sparkling there. You got the local Veloster group and uh, every single one of them has one aspect of plastic dipping or another, whether it's on the body of the car or wheels done or something. So. They always have a good presence here. A few of them are actually gone right now, so. If someone watching right now, can you let me know if this is coming in nice and clear, if I'm having lagging issues here? I'd appreciate it, because uh, it looks good on my phone. I just want to make sure that I'm at least giving a decent representation of what I'm seeing. Another one done by Jason Brozak. This is his personal car. And this one, I think he knocked it out of the ballpark. You know, everything, like the little details of just aging and rusting. If you look at it, I mean, if you didn't know any better. All right, good, thanks for the feedback, guys. Yeah, you can see the paint's fading. Got the rust on the edges. This car has had a very tough race car life. I mean, please 
tell me that that does not look like real rust right there. Like it's just oozing through the paint. And around the windshield, you got the little detail of where the paint's starting to break down at the tops of the panels. And actually, Jason pointed out a nice little detail, which I'm actually going to have him uh, show. When a car typically fades in the sun, Jason was showing me like the little details he did. Oh, thank you. Am I showing um, you the details? Yeah. I want to show the people on live feed right now. Live feed. So you see the blue like this, right? Well, if you look here, where the spoiler was covering up, he actually went the extra mile and had it fade where the spoiler was actually covering the paint. Like a typical faded paint job, which is just the little touches like that. And then he has the original blue. I don't know if you guys can pick it up in this video. It's a lot brighter in the door jam than it is on the body. So he, he did the whole aged look, worn out, racing, rubbing up against it, paint falling off this thing. You know, I mean, he's even got the the oozing of the rust under the handle. He's got the splatter from the rubber tires, or the, the rubber from the tires. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. So definitely, definitely a fan favorite. Yeah, John, it's definitely one of the detailed, uh, one of the most detailed ones. So we're gonna move on over here. If you wanna say hi, Jason. That's the uh, the artist behind all that. And actually all the other ones I mentioned were done by him. Cool, thank you. There's his wife, I believe, right? Girl, wife, girlfriend, sorry. Hopefully uh, something else culminates of it. We have uh, KP's. Kind of the story on this one, from what uh, I understand is, all these colors on this car are every single pearl or pigment that they offered from the beginning. So I'm assuming that this is the beginning. And they basically did, as the colors are being released or batches or whatever, they did every single color that they offer now from the beginning to end. And then at the back, they did kind of the splattered pearl look, which actually I will be showing you one that Fonzie actually was teasing and showed a little little piece here and there about it. Done in Autoflex. We're going to go look at all the DYC vehicles right now and uh, some of the new products that Fonzie is working on that he's going to be releasing here soon. This uh, AMG definitely a sexy looking wagon this one's done in proline matte and I'm gonna get you up and close and personal with it but this stuff it feels just like vinyl beautiful like it had me fooled with how crisp all the gaps were no little chunks anywhere moldings aren't over sprayed it just it looks like it literally was wrapped We have the uh, RS8 done in the Performance Series, which is one of the new colors, the Wicked Wine. And for being a DIY product that I believe he's going to be releasing, it is very, very comparable to what Proline is capable of doing at a DIY level, I believe. So it's gonna be interesting to see this product launch and uh, what people are gonna end up doing with this and what kind of results they can get out of it. Here is a mango orange Dodge Ram, which is, in real life, it's like a nice, rich, deep orange with some, a little bit of highlights of a lighter orange in certain angles, so on video it might look like it's glowing yellow it's not but this is also the performance series I'm sorry not a uh, mango it's mandarin orange I apologize but it's orange so 
So there's three of the vehicles. Those are more the DIY slash getting into the higher end of the products. And then we're going to go over here. Here's the D DYC booth. They've got raffles going on. They've got Honest Car Wash products here, I believe, for sale or at least displaying them. You get DYC hats. Here's the raffles. Here is the Audi that they did in Autoflex. And it just like everywhere you look, there's another little detail of a speckle or a splash or pearls that run down the side. And it just the overall just in your face look is awesome. There's Andrew from DYC. Say hi, you're live right now. Here's Christina, if you've ever talked to her on the phone, there she is. And then I'm going to get up close and personal with this finish on this because it still amazes me that with the background that Fonzie has of how nice the finish is just straight out of the gun. And then if, if they were to take it the next step, I mean this thing would just be like a mirror. Yeah, sorry for the lagging, guys. Hopefully, uh, overall, you guys can get a good idea of what's going on here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. There's an up close and personal look. Here's the S4, or I'm sorry, A4. This is one of the uh, one of the original Autoflex jobs they did, I believe, at least a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, is still looking just as good as it did originally when he did it. And this, you guys have probably seen the video, or if you haven't, check it out on YouTube. Look up for uh, Dip Your Car. Mustang and it should pop up how they did this. Here's the Mustang from all different angles. They basically just went to town on this thing and came up with this. There's kind of an overview of kind of how big this event has gotten. Way bigger than it was last year. More space, more attendees, uh, more like the results seeing what some people did last year and how they've improved on their their work has definitely uh, been interesting to see. Here's uh, a few representing cars from Famous Customs. Don't know where they're based out of, but uh, I'm assuming somewhat local. This BMW, actually, if you didn't know any better, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you would think this was an OEM paint job. There's a few little things. Obviously, there's always going to be little things here and there, but very, very solid jobs done on these. Lexus, I believe a ISF or R RCF. Done in a very unique finish and look. Now if you can pick up that blue pearl that's popping through. It's got a nice little setup going on back here.
some uh, cars representing the Boston wheel line, whether they're new wheels being released or just some of the more unique higher end wheels that they offer. I actually do kind of like these a lot. I'm actually really digging this color that they did on this Lexus. It's got an ever so subtle tealy blue on the highlight points. Everywhere else it's like a deep purple that goes into almost like a fuchsia. It's uh, definitely a unique one. I, I don't know which pearl this is to be honest. So if anyone This orange is badass. I just caught the pearl in it. Actually, that's a factory color, I think. So that had me fooled. That orange, I, I want to say that's an OEM color or an optional OEM color because there was no evidence of being sprayed. The jams were done inside under the trunk, so I think that one's more of a, just, uh, a unique car that came out. Or they just went all out and detrimmed the whole car, took it all apart, but that's a little hard to imagine that they would go that far, but it's possible. I mean, people are getting pretty crazy with this stuff and coming out with some badass results. This one actually I was really impressed with by Dip Exclusive, considering that he has not done any cutting or buffing on this thing. And I don't know if I'll be able to get a clear shot, but no cut and buff on this thing. And he had me full that he had done at least something on it, but it's this is laid out really nice. I would give this thing probably a 98% out of 100, just as it sits right now, and it just needs that extra 2% of touch up and this thing would be as if you took it to a paint shop and got it painted. So Dip Exclusive, I'd say, does, uh, based on this vehicle, pretty darn solid work. And I don't know if it's picking it up. It's kind of like a Malibu blue that they try to replicate that BMW uses on their, their cars. Figure out what color this is. This might be ZTA. Got Dr. Pickman's Alan Nichols here. Say hi, you guys are live. He's got a nice little display going on of various. Uh, pigments and colors and stuff some probably are unreleased or maybe all released and <laughs> Darren Lewinsky being a smart ass as usual nice <laughs> well 
else we have here? We got a few other cars to look at here, and that'll probably be the end of this part. I might come back online here shortly if uh, some more cars show up. This Datsun actually is relatively clean. It's got a couple issues. Needs a little good restoration. Yeah, that blue one, I don't know if that's deep sea to be honest. Actually, I'm going to find out now that you uh, brought that up. I'm kind of curious to find out what color that is. That's the fun. So give me a second here. We're going to walk back over here and find out. Quick question for you, Danny. Did you do that one? What color is that? Some people are asking on live right now. RL71 with blueberry. Ah, okay. We got some deep sea blues. I thought that may have been maybe Martian and juice. I was thinking maybe ZXA. So it says something in that family. Okay. So that is blueberry juice and RL71. Okay, so whoever was curious about it, there you go. Got an answer directly from the guy that did it. Looks like we have, uh, I can't remember who these guys were. I saw them in passing at the Dip Your Car store. RDE Customs. And they are based out of Georgia. And this one's done very nicely. Very, very nicely. Very clean lines. And if I didn't know any better on this one, just based on the reflection and how smooth it is, that this was a vinyl wrap. Yeah, I know, Akafan. It's pretty interesting to see what you get when you start mixing stuff up like that. So blueberry juice looks like it's the overpowering pigment that's used in it. That, uh... Say hi, you guys are live on DYC. I just you. you said I wanted to be friends You're with welcome. you. <laughs> There's well, such a lag on that video. People are saying no lag. Really? So it keeps dropping I'm out. On it right now, actually, is it is it coming through okay? It was. Can you get a shout out or no? It's what? Fine. This one is second no, skin dips. Hi. Second well, dip, St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah, St. Augustine, these guys are North Florida, so if anyone uh, has been curious who dips up there, they are one of the uh, installers. I'm assuming there's other ones around you that... Not really. Not no? Really. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they got a holographic flake on this, right? Yep. I don't know if you guys can pick that up in the video, but it... That's I can be custom Battleship Gray. So it's over a battleship gray. So it's not done over black. Black would black. It is black. The name of the flake is battleship gray. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. so not just holographic flake. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Custom US and black base. Okay. Yep. And this is done in Nautoflex. No, this is Halo True Gloss. This is Halo True Gloss. Okay. So, and this I'm assuming the revised version. You're yes, not version with two. The Correct. Version two. Okay. You know, this is Jeremy's, right? Yeah. Okay. Real 2K. This is Rail 2K, and this is the Ionic. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. It almost kind of looks like an oil slick to a certain extent. Alright, thanks, Ahmad. Hopefully I said your name right. Yeah, thanks for letting me know on that because I'm in a different area, so I don't know how the reception is. I mean, it shows that it's good, but hopefully I can give you guys somewhat of a smooth video. Oh, you got a nice little... Uh, if you don't pull your stick, you take this one. Like that, yeah. or like this. That just... Has hasn't been busy? Hasn't been busy like when you're leaving? Yeah. Oh. 
And we have a couple outliers here at the outside of the uh, ring of cars. This one is a, it's like a rose gold chrome wrap. Very interesting to see in person because I don't know if I could pull that off, as in driving around in a car that's basically a mirror. But hey, it definitely is an eye catcher and uh, very unique. No, uh, Raphael, the Halo and the True Gloss, any, anyone is welcome, whatever products you want. If you're in the showcase, those are limited to DYC specific products. So Plasti Dip, Pro Line, Auto Flex, those three products are their main type of things that they want to show off because that's obviously they put this on. Uh, the Halo cars, all the other ones, the rails, all the stuff, they can still come and display their car. Showcase is kind of at the other end of the the lot if that makes any if that makes sense to you. So this one actually is a very interesting one for this Mustang. Not familiar with what pearl this is. But it definitely shifts nicely. Right-hand drive BMW wagon, very, very clean. And that, so I'm gonna give you guys kind of a taller view of the rest of the lot overall. Yeah, I wish I had a drone at this moment and knew how to fly one. I have a drone. Michigan. Yeah, it might be GC47, possibly, Angela. It actually does kind of look like it. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the aliens, so I, I you know, a GC, it, or the, the, the Cs and all the stuff, you know, those are kind of very vague numbers for me, so, you know, I'd easily confuse them with other ones, but it, it makes sense that it would probably be one of those uh, really, really flippy ones. Man, this BMW is clean. If you had these back in Detroit, these would be rust halfway up the doors, definitely not right-hand drive, and the paint wouldn't be paint anymore, it'd just be bare metal. There's Darren Lewitsky's car, so if you guys uh, want to take a screenshot of that and start tagging him in it, that'd be awesome, because I know he'd love to be tagged in every single thing related to him. Just kidding, bud. There's the back end of my car. Polaris freaking burning your retinas from across the parking lot. Give you guys another little panorama. Uh, the Seminole Casino in Coconut Creek. Beautiful day. It's like probably mid 80s. Nice and sunny, so everyone with a nice effect on their car. Really popping right now. So, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, leave you guys with that. Uh, stay tuned. I'm sure there's other people that are probably doing live feeds right now. So check them out. They might have a different angle, different uh, commentary, everything involved with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, kind of give you a little inside look of what we're experiencing down here for the people that couldn't make it. Next time, you got to come down here. Let's make this bigger and better every uh, every year. Uh, humidity, Angela, is okay. I'd probably say it's about 75, 80%. So, yeah, let's get an exact one because she's really curious about the humidity. Doesn't care about the... Oh, 52. So that's why I'm not sweating like I was last year. Last year was just chaos. This but, is all right, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. Bye.